Hey again, uh, practitioner still here. Um, I'm just doing the following up a little bit of a reply. I also read your comment as well, um, which said that the uh, the issue is to be uh, trying to do as much as possible to help the group survive. Uh, well, the question is, are we talking about the group surviving as a coherent social unit, or are we talking the group surviving in terms of genetics? Uh, if in terms of genetics, uh, again, as I've, I've already posited in the last video, uh, sterilization only of those members would be, a, um, you know, only of those people who freely consented to would be a, um, would be a good thing. Uh, but only in so, again, only in so far as if they chose to, and again, being fully well aware of the health risks and side effects. Um, but pe there are people who, uh, in groups nonetheless, even without incest, choose to sterilize themselves, even without kids, um, in some cases purely because they don't want kids. Um, you know, uh, tubes tying and uh, vasectomies are done all the time. Uh, in my case, if I, um, again, in my case, if I chose to enter a uh, incestual relationship, I don't have a sister, so that wouldn't be happening in my case. But if I'd chosen to, I myself, um, to prevent, um, you know, because, um, you know, if we had both chosen to, um, I would not force it on my sister or my, uh, you know, or or my or who uh, or my cousin or whatever to take their tubes tied in the event they decided to pull out of the relationship. I would have a vasectomy uh, and then later try to have the thing reversed. Um, or, or what I would do is I would store my sperm uh, at a later date. So this way, if I chose to have kids, I would have it stored on ice, and then I could um, later provide for, uh, artificial insemination at a later point if I chose to have children. Um, you know, there again, there are technological uh, there are technological techniques that I could use. So this way I could still have children um, without um, their, their, this way I could still have children even with a partner uh, and still be a part of their lives without having to, um, you know, where, whereas if I chose to enter an incestuous relationship, uh, this issue would not be a problem. Um, again, as I've said, as a, as a coherent social unit, uh, most of the issue in relation to um, ostracization and social units is much the same basis that was used, um, again, I'm, I'm not comparing uh, in, I'm not comparing dis uh, uh, rejection of incest to discrimination against groups, but I want to make this perfectly clear that the um, the same sort of mentality, uh, not the discrimination mentality, but the mentality that uh, that went into a lot of issues, say for example, in terms of promiscuity a while back, or uh, issues in relation to even to homosexuality as being moral a while back. Um, you know, a large chunk of the arguments that were made about them being immoral were that they were contrary to the fiber of the social group. Um, well, that argument has been made before. That argument is, again, based on the ad populum. It's sort of like, uh, well, this is what the majority of people believe, and you're making us uncomfortable, so therefore you shouldn't do it. Well, um, you know, I hate to say it, but I'm going to quote Penn and Teller here, who uh, did their show Bullshit a while back, and this was in relation to speech codes in colleges. Um, and, you know, and they say that people should have a right to be offended, but this is a marketplace of ideas, and... Um, you know, this is a marketplace of ideas. And as long as people are doing their incest and not forcing it down other people's throats, um, you know, again, you know, as long as they're not harming other people, as I've already stated um, with the, uh, again, the issues of learning critical thinking fallacies, learning how to avoid, uh, learning how to spot and avoid, um, sorry, I've lost my train of thought. One moment. Uh, learning how to spot and avoid manipulation techniques, um, you know, as long as the as long as the relationship is based on you know is based enough on a logical level that people can uh, spot manipulation and pull out early if there's a problem, um, or um, you know, or as long as it's you know uh, nominally between two equals, as long as the both parties understand that they have to be between equals here, and it is a fully consenting issue, and that there is no room for manipulation, uh, you know, for emotional manipulation, um, you know, then I I fail to see a problem. Uh, as long as they do it behind closed doors, as long as they're not doing it in my face, and as long as there's no harm being done. Now, if either person came out to public and started complaining that the other one was manipulating, then I'd have a problem. You know, uh, you know, uh, you know, if either that either party was manipulating, then I would have a problem. If it turned out that for some odd reason that when neither one uh, managed to get there, uh, or uh, if either the contraceptions or even or if the operations were a failure, and uh, and a, and a child was born out of it, then I'd have a problem. You know, but until that time. You know, un until uh, you know, until such time as a, um, you know, uh, until such a case actually comes up, so, such as, for example, uh, happens in redneck, commu uh, you know, as, as stereotypically happens in redneck communities, which I do have a problem with. Um, you know, then um, you know, as long as those criteria are met, I have no problem with incest, um, much as I have no problem with homosexuality, as long as long as it's not um, harming anyone. Um, you know, um, I, even. Here's another uh, example of uh, power relationships, which actually work perfectly fine. 
um, again, this is purely an anecdotal case, and it may be only an isolated example, um, but it does present conditions as to um, as to what could be allowed um, or as to what could be uh, okay. Back when I was in high school, uh, the principal of my school um, was married to his secretary. Interestingly enough, they had been married as an equal relationship before he got the position of principal at the school and before she took the position of secretary. The two, um, she had already had the position of secretary, um, and at the time he was the in the position of being a teacher. The two of them uh, were not in the same working in the same part of the office, and they didn't have a power structure. He got promoted to principal after that, but she didn't reject the job. The two of them, uh, the two of them worked it out and understood that their relationship outside of it would not influence their uh, relationship on the job. Um, you know, and uh, the two of them, uh, you know, and the two of them have had a happy relationship. They have not broken up. There has not been a single case of manipulation. Uh, you know, I even asked them about that. You know, saying, well, you know, if we're looking at power structures here, you know, uh, would this create an, immor an immorality problem? The wife was the one who actually said to me um, that she has had no problems with it, owing to the fact that, um, you know, she even joked about it, saying, you know, um, I organize his work and I tell and I and I toss into his schedule. Um, and uh, in addition to organizing his schedule for work, I also organize his personal life schedule as well. And when I asked him about it, he said that he had no problems with that. It was sort of like the, they had merged the two in a very effective format. So this way, um, they treated themselves as a working unit. Um, you know, not one superior over the other. More like a working partnership. Um, you know, like a, like a uh, you know, it, it, it worked effectively. And the same could happen here. Um, you know, my point being is that, um, yes, the parent-child relationship is there. Yes, the brother-sister relationship is there. But as long as, um, you know, as, the, as long as the two of them work out a consenting system and avoid manipulation and tactics and the like, um, you know, uh, uh, traditional power structures can be overlooked, especially if new uh, logic formats and the like are put in, uh, put in place to, contra uh, you know, to, ca to countervene that sort of thing. Now, the moment uh, manipulation and the like start coming in, then I have a problem. Until that time, uh, you know, and, and, you know, genetic deficiencies and the like. Ba okay, basically to sum up, per what you said, yes, uh, birth control is not 100% effective. That being said, there are types of uh, techniques which are, uh, which are almost 100% effective, um, you know, down to the point where the likelihood of a, the birth of a child is severely unlikely. In those particular cases, those are tube tying and vasectomy. Um, you know, and if a partner wants to do it, that's entirely, you know, if they want to enter a relationship, then one of the partners, you know, the one who's suggesting it probably should be, uh, who's initially suggesting it, should be the one who's willing to do the sterilization uh, themse of themselves in order to uh, prevent uh, the birth of any children. Uh, in terms of manipulation, um, when it comes to parent-child issues, wait till a child is over the age of majority to prevent, uh, you know, manipulation, uh, you know, of statutory rape issues. In terms of uh, emotional manipulation, the child, uh, the, the, um, the, you know, the, the son or daughter or, you know, vis-a-vis -vis the mother, uh, the mother, uh, the mother, uh, father, uh, should, uh, you know, the, the son or daughter should, um, be trained or at least make themselves aware of how people are manipulated. So this way they can spot manipulation early on, um, to avoid, you know, and work in the logic base on, and to a certain extent to avoid, um, what's the word to avoid being manipulated, you know, to avoid being manipulated or avoid being victimized. Uh, you know, there are techniques to minimize victimization, um, you know, if not uh, eliminate them outright. Again, per this case of the principal, secre uh, the principal uh, uh, and secretary being married before they got the job positions, but they were a uh, easily able to do it. Um, there could probably be no doubt cases of, of where doctors and patients or teachers and students have later gotten married after the situation or even during the situation, um, you know, and I'm talking between university professors and students, and there have been no problems. Uh, another incident I happen to know of this was my political science professor um, at uh, Mount Allison University uh, back when I was, before I transferred out to Athabasca um, and, and before I switched majors. Um, he had been uh, dating a student, and um, there had been, uh, yes, a whole bunch of societal talk about it, but there have been no complaints by either one of them, uh, you know, uh, particularly by the student. Uh, the student was not in any of his classes, um, and uh, she had taken one class with him, but there had not been an issue of getting good marks or not, uh, no marks. I mean, the student had not complained about it. The, um, you know, they could complain afterwards, uh, especially considering that they maintained the relationship even after the student left the class. Uh, you know, there's, uh, I'm not naming names for fear of, you know, reprisal here because I know the societal values. But, you know, my point being is that these sort of issues can be dealt with. If these can, if these criteria are met, if manipulation is, uh, if manipulation is removed, and if uh, birth defects are move, removed through uh, tube tying or vasectomy, then there should be no problems. As the current uh, uh, forms of incest are, however, I agree with you, it's immoral. But if those constraints are met, 
I consider it more.